Sir St. Felix, and today I'll show you how you can access the Acrobat Sign APIs within the account section. So let's get started. So here I have my Acrobat Sign account, and if I click on the account section and then collapse the account settings and go directly to Acrobat Sign API, this is where I can test all of the API APIs here in Acrobat Sign. By clicking on the link REST API Methods Documentation, this will open up a new window and this will give me all the documentation necessary to use or test APIs. So let's say, for example, I want to test sending out an agreement using the APIs. There's essentially two endpoints that you would use, the transient document endpoint and the agreements endpoint. So let's start with the transient document endpoint. This is a post call, so we'll go ahead and expand this. And here you'll have implementation notes. And this is a good idea to thoroughly read these implementation notes so you understand how to use the API. So all that's required here is really just the authorization. So I can go ahead and click on OAuth access token, and this will give you my scopes on what I want to do. I'll go ahead and select every single scope, but really I'm going to be focusing on just the agreements. I'll authorize, and then this will bring you back into the API screen. So here's my bearer token, and the only thing that I need is an actual file. And so what I'm doing with the transient documents is I'm uploading a file that I'm going to use for my agreement. So I'll click on choose file, and I'll go to my desktop, and I'll select agreement doc. Then I'll click on try it out. So what this is doing is this will make the API call and in my response, I have a transient document ID. I'm going to need this when I actually create my agreement. And then here I have my response code, that's 201, which shows that it's been successfully executed, and I have some response headers. Next thing I need to do is click on the agreements endpoint, and I'm going to make a post call to agreements. And again, here I have some implementation notes. But in short, what I'm doing is setting out an agreement for signature, and I'm going to use the transient document ID that I've just uh, that has just been generated for me when I actually upload this document. So I'll go ahead and copy this, and I'll be using this shortly. So here I already have my bearer token, and then anything you see in bold when you're using the Swagger tool are the things that are required. And so this is going to be the JSON payload that I'm going to need to send to Acrobat Sign to let them know what I'm sending, the email, and other pertinent information. So over here where it says model, you'll see in gray, minimal model schema and complete model schema. The minimal model schema is the bare minimum payload that you need in order to make this API call. And so by clicking on this, it'll give you an example of what the payload looks like and by clicking into this box, it will copy the contents of this JSON payload over into this agreement info section. And I'll go ahead and expand this and we'll talk about each of these line items. So this is the JSON data and right here, it's asking for a transient document ID, which is this right here. This is my transient document ID. So I'm going to paste this right into this field. So now it knows which agreement to use. I'll go ahead and give this a name. We'll call this API agreement. And under participant set infos, it'll tell me the order. So there'll only be one individual. So that person will be the only signer and that individual will play the role of a signer. Under member infos, this is where I'll input the email address. So I'll go ahead and add an email. And then if we scroll down, I have signature type and state. The signature type will be eSign, and the state will be in process. Now you may be wondering, how do I know all this information or what the signature type should be? This can be found in a couple different places. One, in the implementation notes. So down below you'll see that when you create an agreement, it could be in one of three states, draft, authoring, 
or in my case, in process, because I want to send this agreement out for signature. Another place where you can find information on these parameters is by clicking on the model link and then under agreement info, just expanding this. And this gives you a lot of uh, information about the parameters. And so you can see over here where it says signature type, e-sign or written. I want this to be an electronic signature. Therefore, the parameter that I'm using is e-sign. So it's really important that you read the documentation before you start making any API calls. Now that I have all the information I need, I'll go ahead and click on try it out. And what this will do is it's making the API call and then I'm going to get a response. It looks like the response was successful and I have an ID. Now what I'll do is I'll go into my inbox and we'll see the actual agreement that got sent out. So here I am on my iPad and we'll go ahead and open up my inbox and there's the actual agreement itself. And so I can click on review and sign and this will open up the actual agreement itself. And then once the agreement has been, uh, once the agreement has been rendered and whether if you're using a mobile device, your desktop, you can come in and here it is. I'll go ahead and sign. And that's all there is to it. So that's how you can use Acrobat Sign's tool, the Swagger tool, to test out your API calls. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.